In today's tutorial, we will be looking at statically indeterminate members. A member is called statically determinate when its unknown reaction forces can be calculated solely using the basic equilibrium equations. We have already covered these kind of members in Lab 1. Please watch Lab 1 video to see the procedure for solving this kind of problems. Examples of statically determinate members are simply supported beam and the other example is balcony. There are many practical problems that the equilibrium equations are not sufficient to determine the internal forces in a member or components. This type of problems are called statically indeterminate. For example, reinforced concrete columns. Most concrete columns are reinforced with steel rods. When these kinds of columns are subjected to compressive loading, the forces in each material become statically indeterminate. In the following beam, this example shows we have four unknowns and only three equations of the equilibrium. Therefore, this is a statically indeterminate beam. General procedure to solve the statically indeterminate problems. In order to solve these kinds of problems, it is necessary to consider the geometry of the problem and the relationship between forces and deformations. Equations that specify the conditions for displacement are referred to as compatibility conditions. Step 1. Equilibrium conditions for the system must be met, both locally and globally. To do this, first we draw the free body diagram of the member. Second, write the equations of equilibrium for the member. Now the problem can be classified as statically indeterminate if the number of unknown reactions on the FBD is greater than number of available equations of e equilibrium for the member. In this case, we need to go to step two. To better understand this, let's consider this bar. Both ends are fixed here. Let's write the equation of equilibrium for this problem. This problem is statically indeterminate since there are two unknowns and only one equation. Consequently, in this problem, the equilibrium equations are not sufficient to determine the two reactions on the bar. Now, to establish an additional equation needed for solution, we go to step two. Geometrical compatibility among the various components of the structural system must be satisfied. Basically, we must consider how points on the bar displace. Try to explain the compatibility conditions in terms of the displacements caused by loadings. For example, here the overall length change is zero. Therefore, the compatibility conditions for this rod is... Step 3. Use load. Displacement relationships for the materials involved to relate unknown displacements to the reactions. For example, if linear elastic behaviors occurs, delta equals PL over AE can be used. Realizing that the internal force in segment AC is positive FA in tension and in segment CB the internal force is negative FB in compression. Therefore the compatibility condition can be written as Combining equation 1 with equation 2, the equations for the reactions are. Since both of the results are positive, the direction of the reactions is shown correctly on the free body diagram. To summarize the procedure of analysis for statically indeterminate problems. Step 1. Equilibrium condition for the system must be met. Step 2. Check the geometrical compatibility. Step 3. Use load displacement relationships. The rods shown are mounted between two rigid boundaries. The system undergoes a rise in temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Determine the force in the rods. To solve the problem, we will follow these steps. Step 1. Equilibrium condition for the system must be met. Thermal expansion will close the gap and the boundary constraint will result in internal compressive forces. The equilibrium condition is sum of forces in x direction equals zero. Therefore, forces in the rods must be equal to each other. 
Step two, check the geometrical compatibility. The compatibility condition for this problem is, therefore the compatibility condition can be rewritten as, Step 3. Use load. Displacement relationships. Also, the thermal deformation delta temperature can be calculated as Substituting into the compatibility condition equation 2 for delta force and delta temperature, the force P is obtained as 105 kN in compression. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Best of luck with the lab!